Hello there and welcome to Andy's Air Gun Review. And finally, I've been able to get hold of the Sig Sauer P320. What I have here is the CO2 replica of the Sig Sauer P320. The original P320 is a further development of the P250 and was introduced in January 2014. The original is made in 9mm, 357, 0.40 and 0.45 calibers. Now within three years of its release it has been adopted as the standard firearm of the entire US military. They've renamed it the M17. The first unit to receive these weapons was the famous 101st Airborne. So, what's so special about this particular air pistol? Well, this one is a pellet and not a BB, and yet it still holds 30 rounds in the magazine. But I'll come to that later. It is a polymer frame with a full metal slider on top and metal trigger. The safety is located on the left hand side and is possible to release if shooting right handed with the right thumb. Now it's a strong definite action which gives me a lot of confidence. The trigger, well it's a single action as this is used to rotate the belt fed magazine as well as the final pull and releasing the gas meaning the crisp blowback is purely for feel and has no mechanical purpose. Now the sights are open iron sights front and rear which are non-adjustable. They do however come with very clear white dots to the front and rear and on this particular gun has proven to be pretty good straight out the box as far as accuracy is concerned. Now the target work I did in this video later on was quite literally the first shots I'd fired with this gun and four of the nine shots were touching. With practice I feel this would be a great accurate gun. Now there's also a Picatinny rail along the bottom for the usual toys, lasers, torches, etc. And the barrel is rifled and steel, which helps that accuracy. Now, this model is not field strippable in spite of the appearance of the catches to, to enable you to be able to do this. That said, the realism is quite good and the gun has a great realistic feel to it with over 850 grams of weight. Now this gun is all about the terrific 30 round capacity. The magazine is separate from the CO2 compartment and is a dropout belt fed system. The pellets are loaded by opening the rear of the cover and inserting them individually into the belt and rotate to access the empty compartments. Now it's not difficult but it does require a little care as heavy handedness can actually cause the belt to trap in the top. But I've found it's very easily overcome by a slight push down with either the finger or thumb. Now, once this is fully loaded, pop it back into the bottom of the gun, nice and sure, 
And then you've got that massive 30 rounds shots of fun. Now, it would be great to have spare magazines so that when you're shooting, pop out the next one, pop it in, and away you go. But I would expect them to be quite expensive because it's quite an intricate system. Now, CO2 loading is a standard system of dropping the back of the grip, putting your CO2 cartridge into the back, and tighten with the built-in screw provided. It's really very simple, nice and easy, and fail-safe. Now, I really love what Sig Sauer have done with this P320. They've taken a replica gun and managed to cram in a 30 round efficient magazine. It's not had any problems whilst I've been using it. It's pellet to give you the extra accuracy and you don't get quite the same amount of ricochets obviously as you, you do with BBs. And overall the feel is really really good. I'd strongly suggest that you go have a hold, have a feel, and have a look for yourself.